Hi everyone, this is Seema from The Makeup Mob and thanks for joining our channel today. So today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair using a one and a quarter inch curling iron. Before I get started, I do want to explain to you my hair. So it's actually quite curly and last night what I did is I just washed my hair and dried it using a round barrel brush and then I went to sleep. In the morning I got ready and I um, undid my ponytail and I kind of tied it in a bun and it gave me these like weird messy curls which I'm not really proud of but uh, I was just trying something new. In any event what I want to do is curl my hair now creating looser waves or loose curls. Before I actually do get started I want to show you what I'll be using. So I'm using a one and a quarter inch curling iron and this is by Hot Tools. I purchased it at a beauty supply store in Toronto and uh, it was about $40. The way that I curl my hair is really simple and this is pretty much how I do my hair all the time. I only split it in two sections. So I literally just split it just above my ears and tie it like this in any way that you want and I grab a clip and that's it. So what you're going to do is split it in half and it's not really you know exactly even but that's okay. You're going to grab your curling iron and what we're going to do is we're not actually going to use the clamp. So one of my friends actually removed the clamp altogether and she just unscrewed it and then it also removes the stand. So I don't mind using uh, having the clamp still there because I, I think it'll be good to have like to create different curls. So what you're going to do is take, because it's a larger iron, you're going to take about two inches worth. So this is about one inch and this is the other inch. So you're going to face it downwards and the curling iron uh, the clamp part. So th another thing about keeping the clamp is that it serves as a good guidance for you. So you're going to take the clamp side and face it towards you. So as you can see it's facing towards the camera and I'm going to just start it all the way at the top and then I start curling. And here's the trick. I actually set it to about, there's 10 heat settings, and I set it to about 8, which is for obviously coarse hair. And it's really, really hot. And what you want to do is basically keep it there for about 15, 18 seconds. So I just count um, literally to like 18 seconds. And you're going to release. Now, there's two things that you can do to release. You can release this way, which is letting it go, or you can release it another way. So as you can see, it's created this beautiful curl. I'm going to take my other section here. I'm just going to leave this out. Actually, no, we'll grab this. And again, I'm going to take the front part and I'm going to face it towards the camera. And we're going to go to the root again. And just wrap it around. Now here's the other way you can release it. You can release it by actually unwrapping the curl around the iron as opposed to just letting the iron slip out of the curl. So here's what I mean. I will unwrap the curl and let it bounce a little and you'll see that it's just a tad bit looser whereas this one is a little bit tighter. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the rest of my hair and you'll see how I continue to do the rest of my hair.
so now that the bottom um, of my hair is actually all curled what I'm gonna do is just release the top and I'm gonna start curling it away now I did explain earlier that I only parted once but that's my mistake I actually will part it one more time so I don't get any of this side messed up with this so just gonna make a little bun here and clip it so you really only need one clip which is the beauty of this and I'm not even gonna clip this now maybe um, when you're first starting out you may want to clip it so you don't start getting it all tangled together and I'm just gonna do again I'm going to grab about two inches worth so I grab my curling iron again and the front is there and I'm again going to start at the base and wrap it around so I'm going to continue doing this until most of my head is done and you'll be able to see how I do this So here's the last part. I've actually left a little bit of this because I want to do that at the end. And I've actually removed the clip from the other quarter of my head, of my hair. So here's the non-curly part. And again, I'm going to proceed with curling my hair. So again, two inch sections. Take the clamp, put it at the bottom, and curl it towards the other side. Make sure to hold your hair tight so it doesn't slip and you don't burn yourself either. So really the trick is for the back is the back and the sides, not so much for under, is that you want to make sure that you curl your hair going towards the opposite direction. So I know in a lot of videos they do say that, so just want to make sure it's really clear that your curls don't all end up in your face and looking like your hair is running away from the back of your head. You want to make sure that the curls are actually falling nicely and are kind of just joining each other from the left side to the right side. So this should be in here for about 18, 15 to 18 seconds. And here's that curl. And then grab another section. the clamp facing forward, the base, and starting to curl it, like I said, towards the other side. Okay, so I've left the front portions um, uncurled and I'm going to do them again together and what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab here I'm going to grab this part first and curl it like I said you're curling this to make sure that it's pointing towards the opposite side Okay, now we're at the point where we need to curl the bangs. So, because I have longer bangs and I could curl them by myself, like on their own, um, that's what I'm going to do. But for other people, if your bangs are short, you can maybe combine them with other sections of your hair. So, make sure that you don't start off really close because what happens is the curl, it starts curling right away and it just, I don't find that it frames me personally, it doesn't frame my face as um, as well as if I were to start the curl a bit lower. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the curl 
a bit lower. So you'll see that it's about halfway. The clamp is there again. And I'm going to curl it the exact same way as I did for everything else. So again, as if you're going to meet the curl on the other side. Like And then just, oops, just release. So I don't like it to be too curly um, because again, it's the bangs and the bangs, if they're too curly, it just, it's not the look I'm going for. And this side also, so we're gonna grab it, take the clamp part, put it under, and this side is a little trickier for some reason, especially if you're right-handed. And make sure that you're only taking half if you want your hair to look like this. If you want it to be curly all over the, the entire bang, then you'd obviously start it much closer to your roots. And you don't need to leave this in your hair as long as the other parts because it's a much smaller section and obviously a little bit less hair than, you know, let's say the back or under and then release. So you can see that it's really curly and that's why I didn't want this to, maybe I should have left it in there um, a little bit less time because now they're not really equal. So I'm going to curl this up a little bit so then we can play with it a little bit more. Now that the entire um, hair is curled, there are two things you can obviously do. Um, you could pretty much keep it as is, which is, you know, a really cute look. It's a little more dressy and uh, maybe like for a date or going out with your girls. Um, so it's, it's definitely a little more dressy and I wouldn't necessarily wear this to work. What I'm going to do though is just to make it more casual and more of a daily look, I'm just going to run my fingers through. You'll also notice that I don't use any hairspray and I don't use any uh, heat styling creams or products. Um, I really don't like adding anything in my hair and I've been doing curling my hair since you know I was young obviously so it just depends on you know you have to know your hair so if your hair cannot um, sustain the heat then of course you should protect it but I feel like um, I feel like I don't really need it and I'm sure some people would be opposed to what I'm saying but that's okay so I've loosened the curls. Now I, I do however replace a little bit of spray at the end just to make sure that it doesn't move and this is pretty much it. So the I mean you can you can pretty much play with your hair a little so it falls nicely in the front and it's not so tight. So this is the point is you want to make sure that your hair texture is the same all over. So if your if your curls are really tight in the back, make sure they're tight here on the side. If they're loose everywhere, make sure they're loose in the front and the back, under, everywhere. So just that consistency is what really matters. So this is pretty much the look guys. Um, I hope you found this relatively easy and the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this look using a smaller curling iron. So like a three quarter of a barrel inch and it'll be tighter but it could still be loose. So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye!